Hi guys, it's Hannah here, Hannah Mindful Mother. Um, this is the next part of my healing journey from head injury and Crohn's disease flare. Now I really feel like um, my body has recovered now from the head injury. Um, it was a real shock, of course, at the time. It took me a long time to really get through that, but I really feel I'm getting there now in terms of that. But of course, because of the shock, my body reacted and um, the Crohn's flared up, which was again a real shock after being not on the medication and feeling so well for so long, but I'd obviously gone out of balance in some way and I'm restoring that now. Um, this week, with a Crohn's flare though, um, it's not always a straight line of getting better. It can be a little bit up and down, but I know I'm getting there. I really feel like the inflammation is going down. Um, I really feel in general that I'm getting much, much better. There's so many different symptoms. It's different for every single Crohn sufferer, but for me, I, you know, it's still a number of different symptoms that you feel. And the major ones, when you know you're really in a flare, I've definitely settled, but I still am left with certain um, other symptoms that have, have played up a little bit this week and have caused me some pain. Um, but throughout the week, I have made sure that I have focused on what I love, focused on just watching my children play, just being with them, doing things with them, and just allowing myself to love, allowing myself to be um, in that state of joy, even when other stuff is going on, because you can always bring yourself back to that. You know, being in the present moment is so important. So that's what I've been doing. Now, I know though that I still have something that I'm resisting. I don't quite know right now at this moment in time what it is and I'm going to figure it out but the way and this is crucial I'm going to figure it out is by not trying to figure it out at all. Now let me explain what I mean by that. When you try and analyse what's going on you know you start to have those emotions of worry, of fear, all those negative emotions of why is this happening to me? Or what's going on? You're trying too hard, you're pushing, you're pushing, you're trying to make yourself better. You're so desperate. That in itself is, is negative. It's a negative emotion. And you need to allow that healing energy, that loving energy to do its work. Now, our bodies are incredible. I know with Crohn's, our bodies have gone a bit haywire. And that means even more so that your bodies have gone out of balance and you need to restore that balance. And the way to restore that balance is by focusing on all the things you love, focusing your attention on what you want to be. Don't focus on the pain, and I'm not saying it's easy. I know it's not easy. I've been through it myself. You know, two years ago, it was a terrible, terrible flare, and I didn't know which way to turn, honestly. But I came through it, and then I was well for so long. And this time, the flare isn't as bad, nowhere near. But it was still a flare, and I still had the fear a little bit. You still worry what's gonna, it's gonna be like the next day. And I had to work at not allowing those emotions to take over. So you need to focus on how you want to be. Focus on feeling well, absolutely, but don't push for it. Don't don't be desperate for it. Of course you're desperate, I understand. Of course we all want to be well, but you have to just come back. You have to just come back and settle yourself and just let all that fear, all that worry, all those negative emotions go. And if there's a point in your day when you don't feel the pain, then that is the time to do it even more because of course, when you're in pain, it's taking over and you should be able to get beyond that pain in a meditation, but it's not easy, I know that. So just try and do it when you're just feeling the best you, you are that day. But then at that point, just allow that love, allow the healing energy to do its work because it will. And so I trust in this healing energy, just think about a cut on your hand Think about how it heals. Think about how we go from just an egg and a sperm and develop into amazing babies and then how we grow into people. Just think about how our cells are changing all the time and how they can change all the time. Now, this is a big one and this I always remind myself, our cells really can change and they're always changing. 
and it's the signals we send to these these cells to these genes that determines whether we replace these cells with healthy cells or not healthy cells so we need to make sure that the signals are positive the signals are that of love the signals are that of joy so we need to bring ourselves back and we need to settle our minds and we need to forget all those worries and that's exactly what I am doing right now at this point in my healing journey I'm having to do it even more because I know there's something there but I know I can't figure it out but the universal energy around me within me the light that is within us all that energy that, that is within every single one of us that's eternal can it really can and it will it's once what's best for us we just need to allow it we need to connect to that energy we need to connect to it and allow it to heal us so just settle just relax and allow the energy to do what it's best at it knows you know nature and this energy are incredible incredibly powerful and everybody can heal I really 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 believe that I really believe that the only time we don't heal or that we get ill or we have a disease is because we've gone a little bit out of balance and did you know what we're all human and that's gonna happen and that's okay too and there should be no judgment upon yourself no punishment just love just send love to yourself because that's okay that that happened but the most important thing is that now you're just gonna let that all go and allow this energy to heal your body because it will and I know it's gonna heal mine and that is what I wanted to say today I'm sending so much love and positivity to all of you who are in a healing journey as well like me and just if my videos are helping you at all if they're making you think about things that are helping you then please do subscribe to my channel because I'm on a mission to help as many people as possible heal help themselves live their lives to the fullest potential live their best lives be happy and spread the message of just how powerful meditation and mindfulness can be and through my meditations I hope I help and through my videos and my ideas of how to live a mindful life help you as well honestly I love you guys and just brilliant just have brilliant healing journeys you know really sending so much healing energy as much as I can with the light I feel to you as well bye bye